I'd like to continue to talk about minimalism a little bit. And really, it's just about simplifying life. One of the tenets that many who are simplifying life or playing around with the concept of minimalism talk about is ridding ourselves of excess stuff. That's something I've been on the pursuit of for a long, long time. So the last couple of days, I've tried to focus a little bit on that in multiple ways, and I'll talk more about that as I make more of these videos. But this weekend and a little bit this morning was about eliminating some stuff. I have a 15-year-old son, and he enjoys playing basketball. And at the back of our house, there's a concrete pad that was utilized for patio area like most people. But we had a lot of junk out there, and it was useless stuff. Old plastic buckets and old uh, outdoor chairs and old barbecue grill that really was broken and hadn't worked in a long time. It had already been, uh, burners had already been replaced in it once, and finding parts and pieces was becoming difficult, and we had, in essence, stopped using it. Uh, a smoker that I had used uh, that was no longer functioning and just a lot of stuff just a collection of stuff and because you know it's at the back of your house you really don't see it sometimes right or that's my perspective but the 15 year old does have a basketball goal back there and he does enjoy practicing basketball back there he plays basketball in high school and he has been talking to me recently about we should think about cleaning some of this up make some more room for me to shoot hoops right Yesterday was a perfect opportunity opportunity for that. The weather had cooled a little and he was motivated as well. So he helped me and we cleaned up that area. We loaded it up in the truck. And really, the problem you have with some large things like that is that if you put them out on the curb, the normal trash pickup won't, won't take them. So you really need to load them up in essence and take them to the city landfill where they have a place for appliances and metal and, and then dumpsters for the other stuff. So we did that. We loaded that stuff up last night, and also there were a few things that I knew we weren't really using in the cabinet, and these were things that I just wanted to tidy up a little bit, and I kind of warned the wife. I said, hey, I think I'm going to tidy this up a little bit, and she's like, I'm sure I'll be glad that it's done when it's done, so began that process a little bit. It's not so much that I have a problem with buying stuff um, or people who want to buy new things or keeping stuff necessarily. But what I'm looking at specifically is, do we really make use of the stuff that we have? And I'm okay with keeping stuff that I'm making use of, but if I'm not making use of it, it seems that it makes sense to dispose of it in one way or another. Now, I know there'll be some argument that maybe this should be donated, um, and maybe it should, maybe you're right. Um, but a lot of the stuff that I'm talking about is broken down stuff that really can't be made use of anyway. There are a couple of items I probably could have donated, but in all honesty, in the idea of simplifying, making multiple trips, it's much simpler, for, much simpler for me to take it to one location. And that one location was the city landfill. So today I did that. Took things out to the city landfill and got rid of them. It feels pretty good. I can't lie. I like the cleaned up area that's back behind the house now. And he has more space to shoot basketball hoops and practice a little bit. And he's enjoying that too. He was super excited, the, the youngest son. I think my wife will be happy with the cleaned out closet a little bit. And it's just two shelves, right? But you have to start somewhere. I guess the lesson today for me was there was something a little bit symbolic about getting rid of some stuff. A bit of a purge. Maybe you felt that way. Sometimes you feel like you need to purge or get something off your shoulders or out, get it out, right? We talk about that sometimes. This was a little bit of a purge just to get rid of some stuff felt really good. It was lightening a little bit, enlightening a little bit, maybe on my soul somewhat. So I just encourage you to maybe think about the same thing if you're thinking about simplifying life or minimalism or whatever you want to call it, whatever tag you want to put on it. Think about the stuff you have around. Look at it and think, when was the last time I actually used this and why am I keeping it? Is it sentimental value? Because I understand that there are those things that have sentimental value. But is it really sentimental value or is it just that 
you've sort of latched onto it and you're kind of afraid to let go. It's liberating to let go of some of those things. So I hope you'll consider that today. Consider liberating yourself of some of that stuff. Most of us have too much of it. That's my tip for today. Thanks for watching. See you again soon.